Hello everyone, Leo CMC here, and welcome back to some Fallout 4. Back here with Rich, who doesn't want to face the camera for some reason. Come on, buddy. No? There we go. Kate, uh, right now, let's check it out real quick. I am level 21, almost to level 22, like literally points away. Um, needless to say, I've been doing a lot of farming. Uh, in the meantime, we've been gone. I discovered a couple places, as in a lot of the map, actually. When I uh, couldn't figure out what to do, I pretty much was like, okay, port somewhere, and then I just started roaming around, discovering places. You'll see I filled up a decent chunk of the map, which, in all honesty, there's a lot more. Uh, I gathered a couple settlements for the Minutemen and unlocked a really large quest for it. However, we're not going to do that quite yet. My computer's beeping because it's restarting because it doesn't want to render the special video for next week for some weird reason. It keeps having issues. It's like, oh, we're running out of memory, so you should cancel this program. And then I keep telling it no, and then it just resets. And I don't know what its issue is because it's been having problems as of late. And I just assume, oh, well, it's getting old, and I'm probably wrong. So I need to look into that. But of course, I don't have time. So if that doesn't go well, unfortunately, there will only be one video next week, which really sucks because I'm already breaking what I said I wouldn't. That being said, in the with all those levels I've been getting, I put two points into Charisma and two points immediately into Local Leader so we could build more things while we're doing our settlement building. Uh, I think I put another point into Big Leagues. As well as, what was it? Yeah, I guess I put three points in the Gunslinger because I started using my pistol a lot more. Uh, I figured it'd be nice just to rely on it somewhat. So I found a, it was a lucky pistol off of a legendary enemy. I can't remember exactly who it was or what it was, excuse me. But critical shots do double damage and the crit meter fills 15% faster. It's very nice. Uh, I also went to a lovely town called Salem and got the Reba 2, which is this awesome sniper, and as you can see, it does 50% more damage against Mirelurks and Bugs. In a game like this, aka Fallout 4, there are so many Mirelurks that it's a lovely, lovely, lovely weapon to have. And even though I'm not really thinking I'm going to use snipers in this playthrough, I figured, you know what, I might as well grab it. There's just a casual adjustable wrench on there. Excuse me? Uh, let me deposit a couple things. I never carry around the mines. The missile launcher. I was going to say, I'm carrying that around. Might want to equip that, but I think I already have a good left leg. Oh, no, I don't. Okay. I don't know why I keep getting poisoners. Like, I've gotten, like, five pieces of poisoner equipment since I started farming, and I can't explain why. I think the game just really enjoys giving it to me. Oh yeah, I'm glad I did that. Uh, also, because I've been doing so much farming and Kate's been with me, she actually we should look alive. Hey. Sure. Hey there. You have seems awfully quiet around here. So she was trying to say, "Do you have a moment to talk?" Of course. What's on your mind? Appreciate. She just. She, Kate. Look alive. What you need? Hello. Game. Need something? Just. Dude, don't whistle at her. Come on, man. Have time to talk there we now. go. Still have something important to say. Yes, we have a moment. Let's go. Of course. What's on your mind? Appreciate it. We've been on the Thank road goodness. together for a while, and we've taken hard, hard knocks. knocks. Fair enough. But through all that crap, I have died plenty of times. Me. You know, watching me back and making sure I don't do anything stupid. Likewise. I think maybe it's time to tell you a little bit about who you're traveling with. There is no reason for us to keep acting like we're strangers. Fair point. Uh, there you I go. I appreciate your trust. Well, you're the first to earn it. Ooh, it all starts me. with two ways of humanity. I suppose you could call me parents. I'm convinced I was a mistake because I can't remember a single moment that they treated me like their daughter. I was yelled at and beaten. Everything I did was wrong. Nothing but a nuisance in their eyes. The whole time I was telling myself that they had to love me, even if it was just the tiniest bit because they never kicked me out. Mm. Then me 18th birthday arrived, and I found out why they kept me around. They slapped a shock collar around me neck and sold me to slavers. They didn't even care enough about me to say goodbye. 18 years of suffering through that shite, and all I was worth to them was a pocket full of caps. <laughs> Run away, making me uncomfortable. My god. That's, uh... So sorry. Thanks. 
Oof, there's more even more. The story. It would be easy to blame me charm and personality on me parents. But they didn't make me this way. I did. I was with those slavers for five years. Roughest five of my goddamn life. The things they made me do. The way they used me for their amusement. It sickens me to me stomach even thinking about it. But I bided me time and learned to use their own methods against them. Stealing a few caps out of a sleeping man's pocket is a piece of cake. As long as you don't get greedy. I feel like A and X go together like I can't even imagine how you survived. Uh... I can't even imagine having to go through something like that. You think that's low? Just wait. Oof. Even it's more. It's much worse. It took every ounce of patience I had. But after five years, I had finally pocketed enough to buy me own way out of there. But instead of heading off to try and repair the shambles of me life, I gave in to me rage and I headed home. You can imagine the look on me parents' faces when I kicked open their door. What you can't imagine is what they looked like after. After I emptied me gun into them. Uh, Alright, so now is like, you're gonna get specific responses depending on which you pick. Obviously there's always specific ones, no matter what, it's just I think there's like a right and a wrong option for what you say here. I mean, it doesn't affect too much in the long run, I'm just trying to think which one it is. Oh, come on. Say something. Fair point. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Sounds like justice to me. Was it justice? Or was it murder? When I close me eyes, all I can see is their faces twisted with fear. And then my mind starts wandering and I start judging myself. And it's ripping me the fuck apart. You think I inject myself with all that shite and drink myself drunk because I'm a tough Irish girl. I do it so I can forget and move on with my miserable life. So there you are. The entire flawed package known as Kate. Stripped bare for your perusal. Don't worry. I haven't lost faith in you. I knew I was taking a chance telling you all this. I'm just glad I haven't disappointed you. Uh -huh. Um, I don't think I have the charisma to do it properly. It's fine. Good. I wouldn't want to strain our little partnership. Well, thanks for listening to me prattle. I suppose we can get back to business now. Indeed we can. So yeah, I think on my other character I've have I had her maxed out. I don't entirely remember. It's been a while to the point where I don't remember like what specifically to say to her that'll get specific responses. I think there's like one more check we have to go through with her like you keep traveling with her eventually and that's with every companion and the more you travel with them eventually you get them to points where they admire you and such i think that's the second one with her i think there's one more and then she's maxed out once you max out any companion you automatically get a perk when you're with them as well as the fact that i think all but two maybe three of your companions you can have a romance with obviously kate's one of them considering me the option to flirt preston would be one Dog meat is not. I don't think you can with Codsworth. Piper. Did we get Piper? Yeah, I'm pretty certain we did because Nick is the next part of the. Yeah, well, you can do it with Piper. She's pretty much what everyone picks. Uh, yeah. I don't recall what Kate's perk is. It probably has to do something with chems. I'm insane. I don't really know. I'm going to feel terrible if it's not because that's entirely just labeling her, but whatever. Uh, yeah, like I said, just I traveled with her. God, how many hours are we on this account right now? Or this, excuse me, this character. I think I'm on like, yeah, 13, almost 14-ish hours. I think last time we were at like, God, 6, 7, maybe 8. Yeah, 7-ish, 8-ish, right around there. I'd say it's probably around the 8-hour mark. So I put a good 4 or 5 hours with the farming in there. Which, to be honest, is a lot. Because getting levels in this game is not exactly the quickest thing in the world. Uh, that being said, we are finally going to start working on the island. I hope I have nearly enough to make just a few things. I have no doubt I cannot make everything I want. What I really want to do is, because what I always will set up, is I get the biggest generators possible, which I can't even make because I'm not smart enough. Wonderful. I have to put points into intelligence if I want to ever make this happen. <laughs> Gosh darn it. I at least can make the medium ones, which is cool. 
But in the end, like, you're wasting so many materials. Because it's less than double the stuff, for the most part, to get even better returns out of it. The few things that are the same. Like, look, I actually have enough. I could make three of these, which is awesome because you need that. Because what I plan to do, at least what I had done in the past, is I'll put as many generators as I can. Which you get free, 20 free power just from turning on the ship, I believe. But it's automatically used a little bit. Uh, I set up a bunch of water purifiers in this area. Let's see, not defense, resources, water. Yep, water purifiers. You build industrial ones. Because you can stick them right in the water. I can't even build those, dude. That sucks. <laughs> I can't build what I want. But, uh, wow, look at the difference between those. Alright, just because I, I'm getting really agitated with it that I can't do, like, anything. Perk chart, intelligence, when do you get science? Dude, I'd have to have, like, six intelligence, which is just not worth breaking the build for. Ah, oh, I did not even think about it. This sucks. Oh, yeah, I think I put another point in the scrounger just to, uh, you know, entirely break what we were doing there. Yeah, as much as I'd love to build exactly what I have and the other one, we're not going to do that because then it just breaks everything I'm trying to do. Plus, I guess at the very least I can fit more water purifiers because they're not industrial sized. Immediately get my level up.
and then you can go here. That's powered. The last one stretches as well. There we go. I'd say one just you know these four should be good for now. I don't want to waste too many resources on that. This is just a good start. Um, I'm still debating whether or not I actually want to keep everything that I do around that little workshop. For now, I figured that would just be the easiest place to put it. But I'd say we could probably just establish another like house, so to speak. Uh, until I figure that out, I'll probably end up doing it on my own time. I'll instead build one for any settlers or companions I bring here. Typically, once I get a hold of this, I just send all of my companions to this place because you don't need anyone else to like protect it. And one major unfortunate part of this game is all the quests you get from settlements. And I figured out that the only reason you even get these quests is because you have unnamed settlers there. If they're just named straight up settler, you're going to get a quest out of them. Which is why any place, if I can help it, I don't have normal named settlers. Like I get people specifically with actual names. So then I don't have to deal with it. Which is really nice because then I get... There's one specific person who can become a settler with a name that I'll send as a supply line to this place so I don't have to always just travel back to the island to ditch everything. I can travel here or to uh, Red Rocket or Sanctuary Hills because then I can have them all connected with supply lines and that means anything at the other workshops is also available to you here. But there's, because there's so much sea in between this, most normal people can't survive the trip. So you gotta get clever with it, and as such, there's one specific person I know you can make a settler that lasts, that can live through it without an issue.
<laughs> it only took me 45 minutes. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I'm so proud. I'm going to start putting beds in here. I'll work on making it more homey another time. For now, I just I just want to get these in here. I suppose that there's ever going to be a settlement I aim to get to 100 happiness, it would be this one. For now, this will do. I just... <laughs> I'm surprised I could even make this. Even though that looks so bad. Alright, with that, you can see our beautiful structure here that looks really bad because it's uneven and there's that little gap there that annoys the hell out of me and I'm going to nitpick it to the end of time. That being said, thank you all very much for watching. Have a great day, night, week, and all those other things. We will be back very soon. I apologize if I can't get the other video ready so that there's two videos while I'm gone, which this would be the first. Uh, honestly, the way it's going because it takes so long to upload, I will have this one possibly the second one the day i get back which would be next friday which would be the 17th i immediately have to record edits and edit something that night and start uploading it that night so it could possibly come out for sunday so i'd continue the four days which you know that's gonna be annoying but it's worth a try so again thank you all very much for watching and we'll see you guys again soon